Hello, Veronica. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Hi. Uy, solo yo estoy conectada. Yeah, but they are going to come here in a second. Don't worry. I know, I know they are very responsible, so they are going to come. No, we are missing a couple of minutes before starting, so don't worry. Uh -huh. Jolly, Jolly. Hello, Yolanda. <laughs> Only the ladies are coming, come on. <laughs> and, the, and the boys in the game. Ah, but they are going to come. They are very responsible students, you will see. They are going to be here. So today it's our class number eight, and that's very nice. We are in the middle of the of this. We are in the middle of the of all the the module. So that's very nice that we are here together. Hello, Yolanda. How are you? Hello, Miss. I'm fine. Are you in the stadium? No. <laughs> ah, no, she's not in the stadium. Okay, but, but the feeling, it sounds like if you were in the stadium. Hello, Ana Beatriz. How are you? Ana Beatriz is joining us. It is very curious that only the ladies are coming. <laughs> Hello, good evening, Ana Beatriz, how are you? Okay. So as I was telling you, today is our class number eight. We are in the middle of this. So time is just flying. And so yesterday we were talking about the different objects that we have in the house. So today we're going to continue talking a little bit about these things, right? The objects that we have at home. And for sure, while your friends uh, join, if not, this is going to be a very private class. <laughs> While your friends uh, join the class, we're going to remember the agreements of our classes, right? Remember that we are going to practice English as much as possible. We're going to ask for help whenever we need. We are going to attend all the sessions of, on time, keep the cameras on, participate as much as possible, and keep a cooperative attitude during the class, right? For sure, we are going to collaborate with our friends in the WhatsApp group. Welcome. Abdiel, welcome Gustavo, welcome. Uh, hello. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining this, this class. I am very happy that all of you are here. Okay. Excellent. So as I was telling you, uh, collaborate with your friends, right? In the WhatsApp group. And this is the most important part of this. So yesterday we were talking about the different things that we have in the house. Do you remember some of the vocabulary that we were practicing yesterday? Can you mention some of the vocabulary that we were using for the objects in the house? Hello. Hello, Good hello. Good night, everyone. Hello, Mr. Roberto. Uh -huh. what, what was some of the furniture that we were mentioning yesterday? The objects that we have in the house, what were some things? We had the sofa, the lamps, what else? Curtains. The curtains, good. Which one, Ana Beatriz? Table. The table, good. The television. The coffee. the coffee table, good. Very good. 
So we were mentioning all these ones, right? And the ones that we have in the document, right? There you have whew, many more. So, but these ones were the ones that we were practicing yesterday. And we also practiced this a little conversation that they don't have anything in the house and they need some things for the house as well. So basically we were focusing on this one, right? That when you are using singulars, when you are using singular forms, you have to remember that you use there is. Ah, why? Because if you are using a singular form, the use of the word a or an is very necessary. So for the singular forms, remember that we use a or an. And for the plurals, we use are and some, right? There are some chairs. For the singulars, when you use a or an, right? When you use a or an for the singulars, it remembers that it is only one object, right? There is a sofa, there is a table, there is a TV, right? If the word starts with a vowel, for example, our armchair, you are going to use an armchair, right? You're going to use an armchair because it starts with a vowel form, okay? Remember that you have an armchair because it starts with a vowel. If it starts with a normal word, ah, a TV, okay? That's something for you to keep in mind. Good. So for the negatives, we create sentences with isn't for singular and aren't for plurals. Okay, so in this case, I am going to complete the sentences that we have here using uh, the different ways that we have here. If I have, pay attention, if I have here, let me move this a little bit up. I don't have a table in the bedroom. The other way to say this, that is exactly the same, is there is no table in the bedroom. If I have the sentence, I have some chairs in the kitchen, what is another form that we can use to create another sentence? To say the same, but using the examples that I have there. I have, I have any shell. Well, the sentence is affirmative. There are, the, sorry, I have some chairs in the kitchen. Uh -huh. There are. There are, right? I gave you the answer. <laughs> there are some, there are some chairs in the kitchen, right? There are some chairs in the kitchen. What about the next one? I have a stove in the kitchen. How can you transform the sentence? Using the ones that we have here on top. There is. There is. There is what? There is a, right? There is a. There is a stove in the kitchen. Why do you use a? Because you have to specify, un, una, right? There is a stove in the kitchen. I don't have a refrigerator. There are two ways to say this. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't a. Okay, I am going to complete it here. There isn't a. There isn't a refrigerator or there's no refrigerator. So you can use the two forms. There isn't or there's no refrigerator. There's no refrigerator, right? You can have the two forms. There's no refrigerator or there isn't a refrigerator. The next one, it says, I don't have curtains on the windows. How can you transform this one? I don't there have curtains aren't. in the window. There, there are. There aren't. Very good. There aren't. There aren't curtains on the windows. You can say uh, there are no curtains. 
there aren't curtains or there aren't any curtains on the windows. And the three forms are correct, okay? The last one, rugs on the floor. I don't have any rugs on the floor. How can you make it? There aren't, maybe. There aren't any. Any. Very good. There aren't any. Excellent job. There aren't any rugs on the floor. Very good job. So let's see. I am going to give you a normal sentence and the person that I choose is going to give me the uh, different form, okay? So, Ana Beatriz, I don't have a table in the bedroom. Give me the other form. There's no table in the bedroom. Very good. Uh, Gustavo, I have some chairs in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. Very good job. Roberto, I have a stove in the kitchen. You have to read the other form. I have a stove in the kitchen. You have to read this form. The microphone, Roberto, it's off. Ah, sorry. Let me see. Okay, I give you this form and you give me this form. I have a stove in the kitchen. There's no stuff in the kitchen. Okay, you made it negative, but it's okay. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Yolanda, I don't have a refrigerator. There isn't a refrigerator. Very good. Veronica, I don't have curtains on the windows. There are. There are curtains on the window. Okay, there aren't curtains on the windows. Okay. There Isa aren't uh -huh. curtains on the window. Excellent job, very good. Isaias Rosales, I don't have any rugs on the floor. There aren't any rugs on the floor. Okay, Mr. Abdiel, I don't have a TV. Invented. I mean, I, I just gave you the sentence. You have to give me the other form. I don't have a TV in the living room. Yes. Uh, I have a TV in the living room. <laughs> yeah, but you have to create the other form. If I tell you, I don't have a TV in the living room. I am. I don't have a TV in the living room. Ajá. But how do you make it in the other form? ¿Cómo la pasamos a la otra forma que estamos ocupando? Ah, there aren't... It's only one. There aren't... No, there, there aren't how a TV in the living room. Okay, help him. Vamos grupo, ayúdenle. No lo dejen morir. There is morir. Ajá. There is some. There is... Uh -huh, but give me the there complete isn't. sentence. There isn't what? Rocks. A TV. TV in the living room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there isn't a TV in the living room. Good. No dejen morir a sus amigos. Jose Moises, welcome. Let me see. I am going to go with Kelly. Kelly Maritza. I have a bed in the bedroom. Give me the other form. I have a bed in the bedroom. Tendría que, tendría que traducirla a negativo. Perdón. No, no, no. La tenemos que hacer de esta otra forma. Si aquí tenemos, I have a bed in the bedroom, es eh, afirmativa is, singular. Ajá. There is Ajá. a bed. No, there is. Yeah, it's okay. There is a bed. Uh -huh. 
in the bedroom. Very good. There is a bed in the bedroom. Very good. Let's continue. Ha -ha. Mr. Jose Moises. <laughs> Lo vi interesado. I have some cars in the garage. Aha. The juguete, right? I have some cars in the garage. How do you make it in the other form? There aren't. No, I have. It's positive. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, there are. Mm -hmm. There are. A son car you say, in, a in song? the car. Ok, recuérdense que con plurales no ocupamos a. Ah, ok. Ok, ah. entonces tendría que ser there are there some, are some car cars in the, in the garage. In the garage. There are some cars in the garage. Let's see the last one. Vamos a ver quién va a ser el último sorteado. Chen, chen, chen. Let me see. I have very few students, only 10. <laughs> and I finished the 10 sentences. Okay, this is for everybody. I don't have a tree in the yard. How do you transform that one? I don't have a tree in the yard. Anybody? I don't have a tree in the yard. There is a, uh -huh. isn't a, tree, in a the tree in the yard. Very good job. There isn't a tree in the yard. Excellent job. So we're going to go over some of the exercises. This exercise that you have here, I think it's on the platform as well. So you are going to know it there. Now, this is for everybody. And I asked you yesterday to pay attention on the different objects that you have in each of the rooms. So what we are going to do is the following. What we are going to do is the following. We are going to have four groups. We are going to have four groups. Each group is going to have a room. Group number one is going to be the living room. Group number one is going to be the living room. Group number two is going to be the kitchen. Group number three is the bathroom. And group number four is the bedroom. What are you going to do? And let me explain you here, okay? Because you are going to work together and you're going to work in groups. So what you have to do here with this information you are going to be in the group and you have to create sentences with the specific room. For example, if I am talking about the living room, you can tell me there is a TV in the living room. For the kitchen, there is a stove in the kitchen. For the bathroom, there is a toilet in the bathroom, right? And you have to create sentences with the different objects that you have in each of the places, okay? So each group is going to create a specific sentences for a specific things. How are you going to do it? You have to create five affirmative and five negative, okay? If you want to make more, that's perfect, but I need five affirmative and five negative about the things that you have in each of the places, okay? So pay attention to the number of the group that you are going to have because that is the one that you are going to work on, okay? El grupo número uno, ¿de qué van a escribir las oraciones? Grupo número dos. Number three. Number four. Bedroom. 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 Okay. Here we go. En el grupo 1, Gustavo Adolfo, Isaías en Kelly. En el grupo 2, Abdiel, Vanessa en Verónica. Grupo 3, Ana Beatriz, José Moisés en Roberto. 
en grupo 4, Yesenia, Beatriz, and Yolanda. Okay, let's go to the rooms and let's create the sentences. I am going to send you one example on the chat of each room. Let's go to the rooms right now. There you go. Okay, I am going to send students an example of what they are going to do in uh, the sentences that they are going to create. An affirmative and a negative example. There aren't any chairs in the Okay. And here we go. I am going to go and see what they are doing. And let me see. Okay. The indications were sent to each of the rooms. Let's go and see how they are doing. There, there are let's see. Was sent to be done. Okay. Okay, just one thing. You don't have to make the same sentence negative. Mm. You have to tell me some things that there are uh, that you can find in the living room and things that you don't find in the living room. Mm. Okay, okay, so if you have, there are some chairs in the living room, that's correct. But what is something that you don't have in the living room? Do you have cars in the living room? Ah, okay. Mm. Ah, grupo, díganme, los demás. ¿Está correcto decir there aren't one computer? No. No. ¿Qué es lo malo? Eh, está hablando en... En plural. En plural. Ah, entonces... Ah, exactly, very good. Grupo, no me dejen morir ahí solito, ahí al, al, al que está escribiendo, ¿ok? ¿A quién es Gustavo? <laughs> <laughs> ok, continue, continue. I am going to go with the next group. Ok, I don't know. There is a, a table. Yes. ¿La pueden ver? Sí. 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 Yes. Vale. sí. Eso fue lo que hizo la teacher. Ok. En nuestro caso nos toca kitchen. Ahí está un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. They I have, have some chairs in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There, there are some, some chairs in the kitchen, creo que kitchen. dice. Así, no, así, así tendríamos chairs. que hacerlas. Sí, sí, sí. Chairs es este, sillas, ¿verdad? Busquemos sí. otro objeto de, de kitchen. Por ejemplo, um, cup, cup, ajá, eh, cup, eh, red cup. <laughs> Entonces sería, I have, I have some, cap, ¿qué es cap? Es taza. Ok, eh, no sé, alguno de ustedes preguntó por chinero, o... Sí, sí, sí. Cupboard. Cambo de gas, dijeron. Cambo <ríe> de gas, gas tan. Cambo. <ríe> cupboard, cupboard. Cupboard. Es como un chinero yes. para poner ahí las, las cositas. Y tal cual como se escucha, cupboard. Cup, cupboard, ajá. Ok. En the, gas, sería... the gas tank es el tambo de gas. <laughs> ok. Sería entonces, I have some cupboard in the kitchen. Ajá, pero no podemos decir son cupboard, because cupboard is only one. 
Okay, oh, hi, Sony. Well, okay. Entonces sería so, is. There is a. There is. There is a cupboard in the kitchen. Cup down. Gas in the kitchen. Okay. In the kitchen. Uh -huh. Okay, let me see. I, I think you can read the chat, right? So the sentences have to be. Teacher, no, teacher. Yes, yes. yes. Cuando usted envía eh, los, los chats y estamos en la sala. Caen no, como no notificaciones nada más. Y no ah, lo podemos ver. Fíjese. You cannot see it. Okay, so I am going to share my screen then. Okay, I am going to share my screen. WhatsApp. Ah, yeah, good. I can, I can, well, well, well. let me see. Cool. Eh, no sé quién está compartiendo ahorita porque yo le detendría la... la... Verónica. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. Okay, here. I have the, ¿pueden ver la pizarra? Yes. ¿Sí? yes. Okay, so the sentence will be, for example, there is a cupboard in the kitchen. Cupboard. Okay. A cupboard is el chinero. ¿verdad? Cupboard is the chinero. Yes, there is a cupboard in the kitchen. Uh, okay, tell me one thing that you don't have in the kitchen. There isn't a uh -huh. cupboard in the kitchen. There uh -huh. isn't. Pero lo dicen... Dígame algo there que isn't. no hay. There isn't. There isn't in, uh, in bed. There isn't a bed. Good. There isn't a bed in the kitchen because you don't have, right? A menos que la casa sea sumamente chiquita. There isn't a bed in the kitchen. Okay. Aquí vamos a hacer otra. There uh, with there is or there are. Aquí van las afirmativas. Aquí van las negativas. There are uh, there there are uh, ta table co coffee table in the kitchen. There are or there is. There is. There is a. Coffee table. Coffee table in the kitchen. Ah, no. Co coffee table is uh, coffee table Mesita in the living room. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. No, entonces, entonces sería no. esta la negativa. Exactly. exactly. Good. Exactly like that. So you say there is... There is a coffee. There isn't a coffee table in the kitchen. So you put it in the negatives. And then you continue like that. Okay. So that's the idea. So create another affirmative. Okay. There isn't a... Um, no, affirmative. Oh, um, ah, okay. There is. Mm -hmm. There is. A eh, plato, como se dirá? dice. Oh, plato. plato. A dish. Dish. There is a dish. In the kitchen. Dish in the kitchen. And there yeah. you have it. Okay? So now you have okay. two examples. I need you to create the other three. Okay, teacher. Okay. I am going to send them to you in the chat, okay? So you Thanks. can you can keep it there. So now you have the idea and you can follow the idea, right? You just follow okay. that idea and then you can just create your own sentences. I am going to send it to you right now. Okay? Okay. So there okay. you go. Ahí le pueden sacar una, una screenshot porque creo que se cierra si yo me salgo. Because I need to go to the other rooms, okay? Yes, a screenshot. Yes. Ready. <laughs> a screenshot ready. Okay, perfect. So, continue there. I am going to go to the other groups. Thanks. So, continue. Continue with the example, okay? Okay. Eh, creo que el... Aren't es cuando... Cuando, cuando hay... es negativo... Y Ajá, son cuando es, varias. Cuando y es si son varias, cabal, cabal. Ok. Um, hello, students. In the hello. chat, hello. I, send you an, I send you an example in the chat. Uh, um, I send you an example in the chat of how you have to create the sentences. Ok. There is an example there on how you have to create the sentences. Did you receive it? Uh, no. There is. Uh -huh. oh, and what's there is a table in, what's up? Uh -huh. in the in the room. Okay, so then you have to create the sentence similar to that one, but uh -huh. change but the room. object and change the place using the bathroom in this case. Uh -huh. Okay, so create your sentences. I am going to go to the last group. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hello, hello. Ladies. 
Did you finish creating the sentences? Um, yes, no. Yes, Terminamos. Yes. Yes. Ya tenemos las 10 oraciones. 10? You... Yes. <laughs> okay. So if you have your sentences, I gave I send you an, an image on the chat with an example, right? I send you an image with an example. I don't know if you receive it in WhatsApp. Oh, okay. okay, I send you an image there with the two examples, right? There is a and there isn't. There are some, there aren't. Right, I send you uh, there some examples using the objects on the kitchen. So that's the idea on how you have to create the sentences about uh, the bedroom. It's not the same sentencing negative because it is not the idea, for example, to write, uh, you don't have to write, uh, imagine that you have here, uh, there is a bed, there is no bed, okay? That's not the idea, to write oh, the same okay. sentence in affirmative and negative. The idea is that you have, there is a bed, for example, in the bedroom, right? There is a bed in the bedroom and there is no, and you say something that you don't have, there is no I TV know. in the bedroom, okay? And okay. then you create another one. There is a lamp, and there is and uh let's see a mirror for example in the in the bedroom right and then you can create the sentences like that okay okay so uh, finish them please because we are about to go back to the other rooms okay okay thank you okay very good so let me see i am going to go back to room one uh-huh. Did you finish? Finish. Excellent. So we are going to go back to finish. the main session. Let's go back. <laughs> hello, hello, hello again. <laughs> Okay, my dear students. Okay, most of them are coming back right now. Let me see what group do I have here. Kelly is missing from group one. Thank you. Thank you very much for the recipe. I am going to use it. <laughs> See, so, I, I was writing everything. <laughs> I was like, ah, I said, yeah, I have never put panel on that. I said, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Roberto, for the, for the recipe. Okay, so let's go with... <laughs> Gracias, Roberto, por la receta que nos están compartiendo ahí. No sé qué. Por pero... la de los... Se oye buena la receta. <risa> ok. Los nachos con chili. Ya, nachos con chili. Sorry. It's ok, don't worry. I mean, it's ok. Don't worry. So, let's go with group number one. Group number one, it was uh, formed by Gustavo, Isaías, and Kelly. Can you give me your sentences, please? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Number one, there are some chairs in the living room. Negative, there are there aren't computers in the living room. Mm -hmm. The second, 
There is sofa in the living room. There is a sofa. There is a sofa in the living room. Negative. There is an, a mirror in the living room. Good. Three. There is a table in the living room. Negative. There is a coffee table in the living room. Number four. There are curtains in the living room. Negative. There aren't a curtains in the living room. There aren't curtains because it's curtains. plural. Sorry. Number five, there is a TV in the living room. Negative, there isn't refrigerator in the living room. There isn't a refrigerator in the living room. Very good job. Thank you. Claps for your friends. Very good job. Excellent job. Now, group number two, we have Abdiel, Vanessa, and Veronica. Thank you. Reactions for your friend. Very good. Abdiel, Vanessa. Okay, we disappear. Abdiel disappear. Vanessa and Veronica, who is going to share the sentences? Yo lo voy a decir. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> there is a good bird in the kitchen. Good. In negative, there isn't a bed in the kitchen. Positive, there is dish in the kitchen. There is a dish. A dish in the kitchen. Okay. In negative, there isn't a coffee table in the kitchen. Uh, positive, neg uh, there is plate in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Negative, there isn't a shower in the kitchen. Positive, there is a stove in the kitchen. There is a stove, a stove. There is a stove in the kitchen. A negative, there aren't a dog in the kitchen. There aren't dogs. There aren't dogs. Well, in my case, yes. <laughs> there okay. aren't dogs in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, positive, there is microwave in the kitchen. There is a, a microwave, uh-huh. Microwave. A microwave. A microwave. Microwave. Micro. I know. Microwave. Microwave. Michael. <laughs> no, Micro Michael. Well. No. <laughs> microwave. 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 A microwave. Very good. <laughs> and negative. There isn't a shoes. In the kitchen. There aren't shoes because shoes is plural. A menos que solo tengamos un pie. There aren't shoes. Ah, okay. There aren't a shoes. No, a shoes. In the no. Kitchen. A shoes? No. Shoes. Shoe. Shoes. Shoes. There aren't shoes. <laughs> there aren't a shoes in the kitchen. Okay. No, there are Plurals, shoes. Plurals don't take a. Si es plural, nunca lleva a o an. Okay. Se muere un diccionario si hacemos eso. Ustedes no quieren andar matando diccionario, ¿verdad? So, no. No. <laughs> there aren't shoes in the kitchen. Good job. Excellent job, group number two. Reactions for group number two. Ya ven, así equivocándonos, aprendemos todos. That's the best way. The best way. No se sientan mal si alguno se equivocan o todo. Ah, don't worry. En la mente voy a llevar microwave. Microwave. Yes, Ana Beatriz. <laughs> Tell me. Group number three. Go ahead. Uh, positive. Uh, there is a toilet in the bathroom. Good. Negative. There isn't a toilet in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Number two. There is some toilet in the bathroom. There are some what? Uh, toothbrush. Ah, toothbrush. 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 There okay. are some toothbrushes. Negative. There aren't any toothbrushes. Toothbrushes. Okay. Number three. There is a mirror in the bathroom. Good. And negative. There isn't a mirror in the bathroom. Number four, there is a towel in the bathroom. 
negative. There isn't a tower in the bathroom. Good, very good. Number five. There is a shower in the bathroom. Negative. There isn't a shower in the bathroom. Excellent job. There's a job. Group number three. Reactions for group number three. And group number four. Okay, the first the positive. Uh -huh. There is a bed in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. There are two pillows in the bedroom. Excellent. And there is a night table in the bedroom. There is a TV in the bedroom. Excellent. And negative. And there isn't a clock radio. In the bedroom. Excellent. There isn't a window in the bedroom. There aren't some chairs in the bedroom. There isn't a coffee table in the bedroom. And there isn't a sofa bed in the bedroom. There isn't a sofa bed in the bedroom. Excellent job. Very good sentences and very good pronunciation. Group number four. I sent you in the chat of Zoom, the pronunciation of microwave. You say like, y eso gráficos, teacher, que es eso que nos envió ahí esa cosa egipcia. No, it's the pronunciation of the word. It's microwave. Microwave. <laughs> and you'll be like, ah? <laughs> that it's uh, some uh, phonemes that you sure. use, right? Yes? Y refrigeradora. Refrigerator. 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 Or you can say fridge, that it's easier. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Right, that's the way you do it. Refrigerator. It is, it, it's easier, right? It's easier, refrigerator. Or you can say fridge, that it's a little bit easier, fridge. So let's continue here. We were here in the, in the presentation. Okay, thank you very much for explaining all the different objects that we have in each of the rooms, right? Very good job. Now, I have here a picture of a lady and she has many different things, right? As you can see here in the picture, she has many different objects, right? Yes or no? Can you see the objects that she has? Right, there you go, all these objects. Can you mention some of the objects that you can see? Two curtains. Uh-huh, curtains. Television. television. Books. Curtains, television, books. Picture. Pictures. Picture. What window. A window. window. A window. Where is she sitting? Curtain. Where is she sitting? I don't remember. No, no. I I don't remember. I don't remember the word. Uh huh. You don't a, remember a the name? Foot, a football. I was... No, ha no. There you go. You have it there. Rug. 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 Right. She's sitting in a rug. She's sitting in a rug. So here, in this case, this one that we have here, it's a rug, right? Una alfombra. Now, the question is, you can say, yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. And it says, does she have a television? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. does she need curtains? Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. Does she yeah. need curtains? Necesita no. cortinas? No, she does. No, she doesn't. Right? No. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Here we have no. She doesn't. She doesn't need curtains because she has. No, she doesn't. Right? Does she need a sofa? Yes, yes, she does. Yes, yes, she does. does. Because she she's does. sitting on the floor, right? Yes, she does. Because yes, she's sitting on in a rug, 
right? Yes, she does. The next one, does she have an armchair? No, no she, she doesn't. No, no, she does. no, she doesn't, right? No, she doesn't. Good, very good. Yeah, no, she doesn't. Does she have a rug? Yes, she does. Yes, yes she, does, she does, right? Yes, she does. Good. Does she need pictures? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't right? Sure. Because she has pictures already. So she doesn't need pictures. No, she uh, doesn't. Excellent. So tell me one thing that you need in your house right now. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Question me. Go ahead. Cuando es negativo, que, que ella no lo tiene, siempre sería doesn't, ¿verdad? Yes. Doesn't. Because if I say, for example, does she have a bed? No. No, she sí. doesn't. No, no she, she doesn't. doesn't. Es lo mismo no que se si diría, does she need or does she have? The same thing, okay. it's for the two forms. What about the next one? Let's go with the next person. I have another person here. And look at them, okay? Recién casados, los dos. And it says, do they have a lamp? Yes. Yes, they, yes. they have. They have. Yes, they they do. Uh, yes, they do. they do. Very good. Because the question is with do and does. Do they have a lamp? Yes, they do. Because in this case, we are using they. In that case, we were using she. Yes, they do. Do they need a table? Yes, they do. They yes. need a table because they are eating on the floor, right? <laughs> yes, they do. Era una cita china. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Do they have chairs? Yes. Yes, they do. No. Do they, they have no, chairs? They don't. No. No. They don't. Um, no. Don't. no, they don't, right? Jale una silla y sientes en el suelo, they say. No, they don't. Do they need a clock? No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't because they, they have don't. it, right? Yes. Yeah. No hay mesa, pero hay un reloj chido. No, they don't. <laughs> Okay. Do they have a mirror? No, yes, they, they do. Yes, they do. Where is the mirror? No, they no, no they don't. No, they don't, they don't have no, it. They no, do. they don't. <laughs> no, they don't, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't, right? They don't have a mirror. Do they need curtains? Yes. Yes, yes they, they do. Yes, yes they, they do. do. Yes, they do. <laughs> Yeah, because ahí pasa la niña, la niña Juanita afuera de la casa. And it's like, they see everything. Like, hi. <laughs> because they don't have curtains. <laughs> so, no privacy there. Oh, my God. So, yes, they do. They need, uh, they need um, curtains in this case. The last member of this list, the last member that we have here. For this case... We are going to complete the paragraph, right? This is like the top exercise of the night. This is the top exercise of the night. And we are going to complete the paragraph according to the things that we have been studying. Okay, aquí se junta todo lo que hemos estudiado ayer y hoy. So it says, in Roger's house, there's a big living room. And in here, I am going to go with you. It says two bedrooms and two bathrooms. ¿Qué necesitaríamos aquí? There are. There are. There are, right? There are two bedrooms and two bathrooms. There uh, aren't. Is. Ajá. ¿Por qué? Solo habla del patio de una sola cosa. Exactly. There is no, no yard, no. right? Tenemos que estar siempre listos. Cuando oh, ustedes yeah. respondan un ejercicio en inglés y yo les pregunte, why? You have to give me a, a, a reason. This is like, uh, because of yes, teacher. No, right? <laughs> But there is a reason. Mm -hmm. And you were ready for that. It is singular. It's just one thing. But there 
a balcony. Is, ha. El significado de la palabra but, desde ya nos da la idea que nos estamos contradiciendo. Nos van a decir algo contrario. Si decimos, pero, there is no yard, no hay jardín, pero... Hay un balcón. Ah, hay un balcón. There is... There is, but there, there is, is a balcony, okay? But there is a balcony, okay? No hay jardín, but there is a balcony. So, He has a lot of books, so there are, are, are there are bookcases, book bookcases, son libreras, in the living room, in bedrooms. There are any are, chairs in the kitchen? There are there aren't, 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 aren't. aren't. ¿Por qué aren't? aren't. Porque habla de algo que no está. Ajá. Y aren't, como es negativo. Yeah. Es en es plural. Solo con negativos se usa any. Uh -huh. There aren't any. Porque en positivos usamos some. En negativos, any. There aren't some. any chairs in the kitchen, but there. Is. There is. Is, okay. is. Así como les acabo de explicar. Si la primera era negativa, pero tenemos but, la siguiente va a ser positiva. But there is a big table with chairs in the dining room. There, a stove is, in the kitchen. Is, there, is. there is. There is a stove in the kitchen, but there. There isn't. There is no. A microwave oven. A microwave. 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 Two televisions in Royer's house. There are, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are. There are two televisions in Royer's house. There. Is, in the living room. Is, there, there is. There is one television one. in the living room and there. Is. Is. And there is one television in the bedroom. There is. Okay, so let me see. I am going to erase. Oh, my goodness, I erased one. Ah, holy power of the guacamole. But there is a balcony. Okay, there. You go. So go with me. In Roger's house. In Royer's house, tengo que oír a 13 almas hablando conmigo, aunque soy en el partido al fondo, no tengan pena. In Royer's house, there is a big living room. There are two bedrooms and two bathrooms. There are two bathrooms and two There is no yard. But there is a balcony. He has a lot of books. He has a lot of books. So there are bookcases in the living room and bedrooms. So there are bookcases in the living room and bedrooms. There aren't any chairs in the kitchen, but there is a big table with chairs in the dining room. In the dining room. Dining room? No, dining room. Dining room. There is a stove in the kitchen. There is a stove in the kitchen. But there isn't a microwave oven. But there is a microwave oven. Oven, a microwave oven. A microwave, a microwave oven. oven. There are two televisions in Roger's house. There, there are two televisions in Roger's, 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 Roger's house. house. There is one television in the living room. There is, there is one, one television in the living room. room. And there is one television in the bedroom. In the, in the there is one television in the bedroom. Excellent job. Very good job, my dear students. Very good job. <laughs> okay, so one of the last exercises that we are going to do this evening is this one. Here, I have a picture, but this picture is a little bit strange because there are things that there are not supposed to be in the place. So what is something that you consider strange from this picture? Okay, what is something that you consider strange? from this picture. The bed, the bed in the kitchen. You have 
in the bathroom some sofa? Exactly. You say, teacher, there is a sofa in the bathroom. Uh -huh. What is another problem that you can see here? There is a bed in the kitchen. There is a bed in the kitchen. <laughs> what else? Stove in the living room. There is a stove in the living room. Maybe they want to cook and watch TV. <laughs> what else? In the rug in the dining room. There is a rug in the dining room. Uh -huh. There is a... There is a refrigerator in the bedroom. There is a refrigerator in the bedroom, but that's very convenient. Yeah. If you feel thirsty. In the kitchen. There is a clock in the kitchen, right? Here, there is a clock in the kitchen. What else do you see is strange? Now, tell me things that there are no in the places that they should be. For example, there aren't any chairs in the dining yeah. room. In the dining room. Okay. What is something that you don't see in the living room that it's always there? There isn't a TV. There isn't a TV, right? There isn't a TV. What is something that you don't see in the bedroom? The bedroom need a TV and a mirror. And it's a TV and a, and a mirror. And what is the most important in the bedroom? There is, a, no, there is a, mirror. a bed. There isn't a bed in the bedroom. How are you going ah, to sorry, have a bedroom? Sorry. No, but it's important. You need a TV and you need a mirror, right? Yeah. You need a TV and you need a mirror in the bedroom and you don't have it, right? And the kitchen, what is something that you don't have in the kitchen and it should be there in the kitchen? Bed. Uh -huh. It shouldn't be there. The bed shouldn't be there. But what is something that you don't have in the kitchen that it's always there? A refrigerator. There? A refrigerator. Uh -huh. The reason I stove. I stove in the kitchen, right? I stove. There isn't a stove in the kitchen, right? There isn't a stove in the kitchen. What else? The books. Do you think the books should be in the bedroom or in uh, the living room? room. Living there room. there living should be room. in the living room, right? The books should be in the living room. And the lamps? In the bedroom. Um, in the bedroom, right? Well, the in the bedroom. living room too. We, we might have some lamps in the bedroom. So, the final activity that we have for today is this one. We have a specific a special houses. Look at this house here. Look at the house that we have here. Would you like to live here? ¿Le gustaría vivir aquí? En esta de aquí? In this one? No. What about this one? Would you like to live in number one or in number two? In number two. In number two. <laughs> we never know. Number one. We never number know, one. right? Ha have you seen have you seen the number little one. have you seen the little igloos in number Cerro one. Verde? In, in Cerro Verde, in Santa Ana, there are some little things like this. There are like little yes. loose. Yes. And they are very beautiful yes. inside. Very beautiful. So you, we never yes. know. Maybe beautiful. inside it's very beautiful. So let's finish the day with some reading, okay? I am going to go over the reading and I need you to listen for pronunciation, okay? It says, the number one, in San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch, el porche es esa parte del frente que tiene ahí, with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisneros loves it. Let's go with the next one. 
Okay, what is the name of the owner of number one? ¿Cómo se llama la dueña de la primera casa? Sandra Cisneros. Sandra Cisneros. Sandra Cisneros. Okay, what makes her house different from the other houses? That have a, a lot of color. That has a lot of colors. What are the colors of the other houses in the neighborhood? White on be or beige. White or beige, right? They are like boring. So this one is very colorful. What are some of the colors of her house? Green, green, pink, green, and purple. Green, Excellent. Green, pink, and purple. And in the second one, it says, every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes, tribus. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called hogans. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Mrs. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Now, what is the name of this type of house? Hogan. 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 What is the name of the teacher? Mr. Nelson. Mrs. Mrs. It's a lady. Mrs. Nelson. Mrs. Nelson. Mrs. Nelson, because here it says, uh, let me see. Oh my God, Lorraine. where is it? Lorraine Nelson. Lorraine Nelson. Lorraine Nelson. And it says, uh, Mrs. Nelson, here it says. Lorraine. In her Hogan. Okay, cuando nos dicen in her Hogan, ya sabemos que ella es una chica. In her Hogan. How many beds do you have in the Hogan? Two. Two, two, two beds. There are two beds. There are two beds. And when you have a wood burning stove, esta es una cocina de leña, right? A wood burning stove, una cocina de leña. And what is the main purpose of Mrs. Nelson? ¿Cuál es el primer motivo por qué los invita a quedarse ahí? Native American tribe. Mm, traditions, America, Native American traditions. Exactly yes. like that. Traditions. To teach people Native American traditions. So that is the main purpose. Well, my dear students, I really thank you for being here. Okay. I really thank you for being so responsible and for being in class and for participating as much as you did today. Tomorrow, that is our last day, we are going to talk about professions and occupations. Okay, so I need you to investigate vocabulary about professions and occupations. Monday. We have homework. <laughs> oh, yes, tomorrow. Yeah, it's Monday. Friday. Tomorrow will hey. be have class. <laughs> no, <laughs> ya ven, okay. me encanta. Estoy viendo si están poniendo atención o no. Very good. Tomorrow is free. On Monday, Casi excellent, me excellent. <laughs> <laughs> on Monday, we are going to have the next class and I need you please to investigate about professions and occupations, okay? Have a beautiful okay. night. Go and enjoy the game and see you next week. Good night, okay? night teacher. Thanks, teacher. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. On have a great weekend. See you on Monday. Ahora sí, a comerse el chili con carne. Bye bye. Bye. Take care. See you. Bye bye.